Hello folks, in this video we will be talking about the camping gear and to be precise about downsizing it a bit because it might happen to you as it happened to me that when you want to go camping you need to take loads of luggage I mean your tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, something to cook and a few other things which could be a load in total even though my gear is in perfect condition there is nothing wrong with it why the hell do I want to change it? And I actually did. My previous gear was too big and bulky. Therefore, I quite often decided to skip it, leave it at home, not take it because it's massive. But yes, I might say that my equipment is actually on the regular side. It's rather small and big. Well, it sort of is. But let's compare it then. So, gents, this is my typical camping equipment. The old one, of course. Starting with the Decathlon's Arpenas 3. It's not a big tent. It's regular size. Most people are using that or similar tent. It's a typical three-person tent, meaning there is enough space for two people and a bit of luggage inside. Definitely not three people. That one is campus sleeping bag. The comfort temperatures. Minus 2 to plus 15. Lovely, right? What do you want more? It's brilliant. And that thing is a self-inflating mat. And that's Stefan. But those items are taking a lot of space. Just take a look at that. <laughs> no, I'm not taking Stefan with me. This is my llama bag. This is a 40 liter llama bag. Obviously it's flattened out, so it looks bigger than it is. And know that dirt on the back is not shit. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's just rust from my luggage rack. It really is. <laughs> but actually, if you put those inside, there is no space for anything else. So, I will put it on top of that so you will see exactly. See? Yeah, after rolling that end, that's absolutely the end of that roll bag. Not even mentioning the space for that chair. So, the chair wouldn't fit. So, let's try to do something with that, shall we? What if you would downsize a bit, right? I purchased a new sleeping bag, which is way smaller. This is not good for anything cold, but because I'm traveling with all the motorcycle and clothing, I will be fine, I will survive, right? It's obviously absolutely not good for any lower temperatures. Uh, when it's cold, yeah, it, it won't work well. And you know what? The whole point is, I'm going camping when it's rather warm, meaning spring, summertime. Instead of that self-inflating mat, let's use this. The inflatable sleeping mat is only good in warm weather. I'm going camping when it's rather warm. So my self-inflating mat was actually much better because it was insulating as well. Just the inflatable one is not insulating. So here you go. I'm going camping when it's rather warm. But for the warmer days, it's brilliant. The last thing is the tent which I just bought. Nature Hike Cloud 2 Up. That tent is for two people. Meaning in reality it's just one person tent and a bit of space for the luggage. But that's how I usually travel. It's a tent which is beloved by hiking community because it's a small and lightweight tent. I don't need it to be that lightweight. However, I'm thinking that the small space it takes in your luggage is actually really, really good and really important for me. Right, so now let's compare all those equipment. Sleeping bags one to another, sleeping mat, and yes, the tent as well. See, there is a lot of difference in between those. Right, Stefan? Yes, he says, of course. And also, that tent, the bigger one, Arpenas, is almost 4 kilograms and that one is 2.5. So, yeah, my bike will be happier. So let's get rid of the things which we don't need right now. See what the difference? If I would pack into that Lomo bag, I would still have loads of space, right? That would fit. And that would take just a tiny bit of space, right? One last thing to compare. 
with a size is my phone. Just a usual, typical phone, so you see how big that is. So, yes, my friends, that's it. That's how I pack. So you can just compare that to, to that. See? Lovely, right? And that's a bigger 60 liter bag. See? It's almost taking that space from that bag. I mean, yes, look at that picture. The whole bag was filled with my camping gear and almost nothing else. Now, other than that, I'm also taking that with me, usually. Look at that. Yeah, the cutlery, the gas tank, the gas canister, and the Trangia oven, which I can't find anywhere right now. So yeah, what you can imagine is the size of that sleeping bag-ish. Yes, so that is, the cutlery is Bundeswehr army, the German army cutlery. It's okay, stainless steel, nothing special again. My small GoPro and my small camera to take the pictures. Now look at that. That's the old school DSLR. And it's not even really big one. It was semi-pro back then in the days. Uh, and that small Sony is taking better pictures. You can trust me on that. Same size of sensor, similar lenses. Look at that. So... Make yourself a favor and buy yourself small camera. Don't use DSLR nowadays, not on a motorcycle. So my friends, my plan for the next season is to go lightweight, to take that equipment with me every single time I'm going somewhere on a motorcycle. Because quite often I was just booking a hotel before. You know what, especially when you split the price in part with someone else, bloody camping pitch is not much cheaper than hotel really. But it's not just about that, sometimes it's cool to be camping, and I want to do it much more often. However, when my gear was massive, it was taking half of my luggage space, I was often saying, just screw this, just, just, I won't take it, it makes no sense. Having such a small bag which I can pack and take with me, I think I will force myself to always take it with me and much more often go camping, because it's really cool. And on that bombshell, or something, <laughs> let's finish that episode. But in the meantime, you can see a few videos which are here on the side. For example, do you have a good mobile phone mount on your bike? Does it have vibration dampener? Do you think it works well? Check this out. Or just take a brew and relax with one of my older touring videos. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, give me... Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers!